if you aren't careful, the newspapers will have you hating the people who are being oppressed and loving the people who are doing the oppressing. That's a quote from one of my heroes, the great, the legendary brother Malcolm X. He said that in the 1960s. I can edit that quote and take newspapers out because people don't really do newspapers anymore. And I can insert TV. I can insert social media. And that quote would still be the same. It would still have the same effect. It would still be right on point. Because today... Donald John Trump is always playing the victim. Always. It's never his fault. He never did anything. Everybody else doing stuff. And folks just coming for him. And his worshipers buy into that shit. And they are the same people who will look at someone like me, who will look at someone like Brother Malcolm, who will look at someone like Martin Luther King or any uh, uh, black freedom fighter and say that, oh, y'all playing the victim. They would say to us, get over slavery. They would say to us, why are you celebrating Juneteenth? They would say that Juneteenth is made up. They would say that slavery has been over. You were never a slave. Uh, 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 my parents never owned slaves. They would say Jim Crow was just, oh, you couldn't drink out of the water fountain you didn't want to, uh, that you wanted to drink out of, big deal. Oh, you had to ride, ride on the back of the bus, big deal. They would say all of this bullshit. They would say stuff like Nikki Haley, who put out a tweet recently. You no, know, she's a presidential candidate. Okay. Used to serve in the, in the Trump administration, but now she is running for president against him. And long story short, she said something like her parents didn't teach her uh, to be a victim. You know, she's of Indian descent. She tried to hide that shit, though. Well, her first name ain't really Nikki. She tried to hide that. But I'm telling you, these the same motherfuckers. To try to act like I'm playing victim. They worship Donald Trump. They make excuses for Donald Trump. Or they piggyback on his excuses. Think about all the shit that this son of a bitch has done since just let's just take since he has come into uh the political arena. You can set aside all the other bullshit he did even before that. Let's just look at what he's done since he's come to the political arena. Okay? I'm just going to name some of them. He, it seems like every day or every week it was something with that son of a bitch. But, but let's take a few of them. The whole grab him by the pussy controversy. We got caught on, on tape. Not just like on a... a, a the Nixon tapes where you had audio. We had audio and visual to see that motherfucker. You say you can grab a woman by the pussy. Okay. And oh, now he, he, he tries to say, well, I said they'll let you do it. But he also says he just starts kissing them. I just can't help myself. You ain't say they let you uh, kiss them. You just say you just start. You can't help yourself. So he on he's on tape admitting to sexual assault. But then he comes and says the tape was doctored. Huh. You know, he, he's been going all over the place with his excuses on that. Okay. Now he's on some, like, he's trying to be macho and saying it's been like that forever. You know what I'm talking about? But he had one time was like, that wasn't me. They, they doctored the tape or, or, or I didn't say that. They doctored the tape type of shit. Bullshit. He lost the popular vote to Hillary Clinton. Now we know he still became president because this supposedly the greatest country on earth got the dumbest dumbest system of electing 
the person who holds the highest office with that electoral college, that shit must be eliminated. Okay. Because yes, he won electoral college, but he lost the popular vote to Clinton. And what did he say? I, he claimed that he won the popular vote if you take out the votes of quote unquote illegals. That was bullshit. The whole Russia investigation where, well, you know, uh, it just seemed like there was some funny business between him and him and them Russians. He, 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 we, we slick in, a, a, in another Cold War with Russia, okay? Going all the way back to Obama's administration when the motherfuckers invaded Crimea. Like all this shit going on with, 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 with Ukraine, this ain't just thawed uh, uh, under Trump or Biden, okay? That shit go all the way back to Obama. So then when Trump come into office, and you thinking, you know, uh, hell, they had metal in our election. In the 2016 election, that shit came out around the same time that the uh, uh, grabbing by the pussy tape came out. Okay. So this motherfucker, you like, okay, we supposed to have some smoke with Vladimir Putin. That man ain't had nothing but flattering words saying it some bitch. Inviting the Russians into the goddamn Oval Office and, and all this other shit doing a lot of uh, highly questionable shit he said that was a hoax the whole investigation was a hoax okay uh, all right donald stormy daniels there's a picture out there with him and the porn star we know these the type of women he likes he's from that world from the entertainment world from a uh, real estate world okay casino a building world he, he wanted to one he's on his third wife for a reason He know he fucked that woman, and he know he set up the payment to keep that woman uh, uh, uh quiet. All that blame went on his lawyer, lawyer though. He did it, Michael Cohen, Cohen, something like that. You know, not not that motherfucker. Man. He a turncoat now. He be all over MSNBC talking about Trump now. He used to do his dirty, dirty work. Rape allegations came out. Oh, he just say the woman, she's not my type. When he got impeached the first time for uh, uh, trying to strong arm Ukraine and shit like that uh, uh, over the phone, he said, oh, it was a perfect call. It was a perfect call. When he lost to Biden, both in the electoral college and the popular vote, oh, he said the election was rigged. He, he said the shit was rigged before the election even happened. Because he always got an excuse. When January 6th uh, went down. And then his ad got impeached again. You know, when the motherfucker tried to take over uh, uh, the, the Capitol on his behalf. Y'all remember that shit? Then he got impeached again. He ain't think he did nothing wrong. He didn't think he was uh, uh, wrong for inciting those people. He didn't think that he did anything wrong by not calling uh, uh, anybody to go stop them motherfuckers. He just, folks fucking with him. He calling them motherfuckers that were doing that shit patriots, even though they were up there beating the shit out of policemen. When Congressman Benny Thompson of Mississippi, shout out to that king, led the January 6th in investigation, the January 6th committee, uh, Donald Trump called that shit a witch hunt. He didn't call the uh, this indictment that he got in New York a witch hunt. He didn't call now this federal indictment a witch hunt. And I've read the indictment. That shit is black and white. Go read the indictment. Okay, it's on like 49 pages, something like that. It ain't long. Go read them up because it's online. These folks spell out crystal clear what this son of a bitch did. And he be on tape admitting to this shit in his interviews because he can't help himself. He's an idiot. But let him tell it is never him. It's always somebody else. Because he plays the victim. He plays the victim. And Fox News runs with that bullshit. Now these other con uh, uh, conservative uh, 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 channels, Newsmax, uh, 
No, some other shit I'm hearing about. You know these motherfuckers on YouTube and talk radio, they run with it. They all play victim. Like somebody oppressing that motherfucker. Like, you tell me who's the more likely victim. The descendants of those born into slavery uh, uh, the Jim Crow South and uh, uh, um, they de facto segregation in the North, okay? Or a white male who's straight and Protestant, a celebrity, and a fucking billionaire from New York City. Which one of them motherfuckers you think been oppressed? This shit is checkers. This ain't even chess. This shit is easy. This shit is Madden on rookie. This shit is easy. Come on, man. So we be playing the victim, though. I don't want to hear it from any more of these conservative Republicans ever again. Shut that shit up. Don't throw that victim card our way no more. Shut it up. We just be telling the truth. He be playing the victim, and a lot of you motherfuckers be playing the victim. I'm talking about, uh, 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 had a motherfucker. Don't tell me that white white uh, uh, people are uh, uh, oppressed just as much as black people now. Pre George Floyd. Then what? And uh, I had to straighten that motherfucker that day. I had to straighten that motherfucker. But then after George Floyd got lynched, he came back and apologized to me to my I see what you're talking about. You damn right. And then you pay attention to the backlash since then. They feel like they being oppressed in the classroom. Our children shouldn't have to learn about that. Well, God damn it, our children had to endure it. My mother had to endure that shit. Going to inferior schools because of systemic racial discrimination. Not being able to go where she wanted to go because of systemic racial discrimination. When she went and paid the family's rent, had to go to the back of the damn house. The indignity of that because of uh, systemic racial discrimination. Come on, man. Talking about your motherfucking child uncomfortable. Shit, I just took my child on Juneteenth, my children, I should say, I'm sorry, took my wife and children to uh, the Civil Rights Museum here in the state of Mississippi, uh, in Jackson, Mississippi, state of the art. Y'all should go. We were sitting, uh, watching a video, and uh, one of the exhibits is, is brilliantly done. They have like a uh, school set up, but on one side of the classroom, you have what a, a, a black school looked like, okay, uh, uh, pre-integration. And then you got what a white school looked like. And the black school just got benches and shit and just got a rundown furnace. And the white side of the school got actual desks and, and, and the shit you're supposed to have in a school. And they putting all this data up there and showing the discrepancies and how much more money was spent on a white child versus a black child in school and uh, the how the class size in a black uh, classroom was enormous compared to the class size uh amongst white children and uh just all the different data and giving us the shit about it and now when motherfuckers try to integrate it, uh the racist backlash the violent backlash and my daughter started crying hell my wife started tearing up first but then my daughter started straight just boohooing in that motherfucker you don't think learning about this shit makes our babies uncomfortable? Because then they think to themselves, that's my skin. If they felt that way about us then, logically, they might feel that way about us now. How that might affect a child. But the truth is the truth, and these children got to learn the truth, and so we can move past it. That ain't nobody playing the victim when we talk about these things. That's telling the fucking truth. This son bitch, Donald Trump, 
his supporters, and uh, 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 anybody down with him be just be lying because he's a narcissist. He's an egotistical idiot who can't accept failure. He can't accept it. He can't accept it. He's not as smart uh, as Obama, as articulate as Obama. He can't uh, as intelligent as Obama. He can't. He can't. Ooh, that just does something to him. When Obama got at his ass at that uh, uh, White House Correspondents Dinner. Ooh, that shit burned that motherfucker up. That might have been the moment that he decided to run for president. He probably was sitting there like, I'm going to show this nigga. Bitch-ass motherfucker. A lot of these bastards out here fell for us. So did. And put an idiot in the office. Got all these memes going around on Twitter right now to my son. Name a bigger downgrade. It's hard to find a bigger downgrade in terms of presidents than going from Obama to Trump, bitch ass. But he plays the victim. Man, he checks all the boxes. For folks who are privileged in this motherfucker. He's rich, he's white, he's a male, he's straight, he's Protestant. He's a celebrity. But he's oppressed in his mind. Everybody hates him. Fuck out of here, man. So I don't want to hear that shit from conservatives no more. Don't say black folk be playing a victim. That's y'all and your boy.